Hello at Klickenabend. We are here at the Heidelberger Castle event. We played Kepler 3042 here from Placentia Games. And we have got the prototype here in front of us. We played it with three players. Uh, it took around, I think, one hour, something like that. And it's a space exploration game. I want to show you a quick... Uh, a quick overview of the rules and how the gameplay works and how we like our first uh, game play with the prototype. We have the game board here, remember it's a prototype so it's not the finished product but um, the graphics of the board are nearly final, the graphics of the cards uh, will be changed of course and also the graphics of the player tablets will be changed as well. So um, you have got a crew, you have got uh, three spaceships which you command and uh, work over the whole universe and you try to find planets and explore them and produce goods and as well terraforming the planets so people can live there on the planet. To do what you need to do in the game you have got nine basic actions which you have here on the board. When it is your turn you do an action, you place a cube on the action, you do the action and then the other players do their turn. When it is your turn again, you choose any other action, but not the action which you did one, one turn ago. So you cannot do an action twice. But all other actions are free to use. And if you like, you can burn your resources to do another action. So if you have a very good look at it, you see there's something on the right and something on the top. In this game, you have got resources, but you will never grow in your resources. So if you burn a resource, it is out of the game completely and you cannot recreate it. There are some bonus actions when you put it back into play, but normally when you burn it for an action, it's gone. We have got matter, in orange we have got energy and we have got in black antimatter. So you have got a circulation of resources, you have them here. Uh, you transfer them when you create them to your planets. At the beginning you only have the Earth. Or you can burn them and uh, put them in the trash, so here. Um, if you choose your action, you do your action and then you can choose to burn something and do that action here on the top. And you can burn another thing and do that action here on the right. So that is the basic mechanic of the game. So let's have a look what you can do inside the game. So the basic action which you need in space of course is um, create spaceships. You can do it here. So when I choose that action I pay one white and one orange cube and then I get one spaceship. Because you have got three of them you can create three spaceships. But then you need to pay of course the same resources for each spaceship. Normally the spaceship goes to your planet which you own. So at the beginning just the Earth and later you can create them on the other planets as well. Then we have the action to move the ships. There we can move inside the space and try to explore more planets. To do that it's a good strategy to see what kind of planet that is before I explore it. So when I take that action I can explore four planets which are quite away and I see what planets they are. Then I can colonize them. If I am with the ship on the planet, I take that action and then it's my planet. And of course we need to terraform the planets so we can live on them. For that we get victory points and colonization points or uh, technical points for doing that. And of course we need to produce our whole resources, otherwise the whole game doesn't make any sense. So we can produce energy, we can produce um, on the planets which they produce, normally it's white and orange, and of course we can produce antimatter, which we need for technology development. So there's another action here where we can develop on our track. Each player here has a track, normally of course we start at the beginning, and you get a little technology at the beginning of the game. And here are some tracks where we are getting better and better. On the first track you see how far we can move with our spaceship. So at the beginning I can only move one or zero and then later I can move a long long distance with nine uh, spaces. On the second row we can trade resources. So I can exchange a white cube in an orange cube or I can transfer them to a different planet. That makes sense because when I want to create spaceships I can create them on a different planet which is far far away but I need the resources on the planet to do that. And when I'm here at the right I can do it 
unlimited how I like. On the next thing we see that we can create undi matter and further to the right we can create more and it's very important we need to be here on these spaces to develop and explore alien planets and on this line here we can create energy on earth so it will be more and more energy and on the last field we can then burn only one resource to use both the right action and the top action and the last one is a terraforming uh, line I need to go here further to the right to terraform a planet for me to live on it and the planet shows me what it needs so here is your board at the end of the game with three players you see there are a lot of planets all planets have numbers to it and you have got cards with the planet but if you want to have all details at a quick view you just get an overview of all planets and then you see when you explore it how much points you get what resources um, the planet can create and how much does it cost to terraform it and what you get when you terraform it so we have a whole overview also you see all the different kind of planets because there are some special victory points when you discover uh, the same planets with the same color or with different one and of course it makes um, a difference because we start here at the earth with the victory points on the planet which are very near and which are very far so you get more victory points of course when you um, use the space and drive very far for space exploration and here we have got the lines which I already told you the technical line and the colonization line you get here resources when you try when you reach some point and you also get medals so I did get four medals when I go over a point I did I can have the medal and the medal is worth one victory point a game in Kepler 3042 takes 16 turns so each turn also we have a event card you flip over the event card at the beginning of the turn and then you read it out loud and normally it's something positive for one player or for more players and it's depending on the circumstances who gets it so at some cases it it is just a positive thing which the player gets who is lowest at some of these lines here or with the fewest planets or something else the game stops after 16 rounds and um, then you count your victory points together. You get victory points for the planet, you get victory points for antimatter on your planet, you get victory points for metals, and of course, everybody has a hidden secret. So you try to reach that as well. And the guy who gets the most victory points win the game. So today was my first game with a prototype. We played it with three players. It took around one hour and we liked it. Although we lost the game, of course, against the game author, which knows the strategies. So um, he told us already, you have got different kind of strategies in the game. You can try to re reach very, very far and try to get there very much points. You can try to be very near to Earth, so go to the first planet and produce a lot of stuff. And we also already saw how the game flow works with all the technologies. Um, I need to play it a lot more in the next days um, but the first impression is very good I liked it and hopefully you will like it as well you can pledge it on Kickstarter and crowdfund the game so the game will be produced hope you like our short first impression and see you later Rezensionen, Emotionen, Videos blocken und mal locken. Seit zehn Jahren spielen Narren, lebt dreimal hoch, klicken, nabben.